Georgia owns the East. Florida wrestled it away in 2020. How about the Cats of Kentucky? Welcome to the Voice of College Football as we break down all the schedules in the Power Five. We're locked in on the SEC this weekend, and we're looking at the Kentucky Wildcats under Mark Stoops. Under 500 last year, but they did win a bowl game against NC State, and Kentucky has solved, hopefully for them, the quarterback position with Will Levis, the transfer from Penn State, winning a three-man quarterback battle. The defense looks strong. The offensive line need to find some skill position players on the periphery. They've got the strong running game, of course, led by Kavasi Smoke and one Chris Rodriguez, one of the best running backs in the SEC. All right, Kentucky opens the season with an obvious win against Louisiana Monroe. Key week two game. They already dive into the SEC in week two, taking on Mizzou at home. This basically eliminates one team from the SEC East and being that dark horse possibility. So Kentucky's got to win that game. Then they got Chattanooga at South Carolina. So Kentucky, if you give them the edge against Mizzou in Lexington, they should start the season 4-0. Then comes a ridiculous difficult stretch. Three consecutive games. Florida, LSU at home, at Georgia. Got to win two of the three, and of course the Florida game would be the most important, in a sense, at home. The most winnable, probably, of the three. But going on the road at Georgia, of course, you got to knock off the dogs head-to-head if you have any chance of winning the division. Florida, LSU, Georgia, a gauntlet for Kentucky there. They can get through at, let's say... Two, four, six, seven. They're five and two at that point, then they're in good shape. Mississippi State on the road, Tennessee at Vandy, New Mexico State at Louisville. They're going to be a favorite in all of those games against those teams, excluding possibly Mississippi State on the road. All right. Florida, LSU, Georgia, underdogs in those games. I've got Kentucky going five and three in the SEC. I think that they lose those three middle games and beat everybody else. They're going to beat Louisville at the end of the year. The rest of the non-conference schedule for Kentucky is a cakewalk. Nine and three for Kentucky this year. Five and three in the SEC. Mark it down. Leave your predictions below. And remember, Monday night, we're live all night. Big preview, LSU and UCLA live. Big preview, Iowa, Indiana live on Monday night. And also then our big prediction special with you live Taking your calls and comments right here at the Voice of College Football. We'll see you Monday night.